गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन योर टूडेज मैथ्स क्लास टूडे वी विल लर्न सम एडिशन एंड सब ट्रैक्शन रिलेटेड फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ओके इट इज ऑफ यूनिट टू दैट इज एडिशन एंड द सब ट्रैक्शन लेट्स सॉल्व हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट इज फोर थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट प्लस पार्ट is equal to 4128 what we have to add in the 4128 so that it become remain the same that is 4128 so if we add zero here there will be uh, the same answer that is 4128 let's see the question number b in the question number b here ब्लैंक प्लस एटी टू प्लस सेवेंटी वन इज इक्वल टू ब्लैंक प्लस नाइन्टी सिक्स प्लस एटी टू ओके सो वट वी हैव टू डू इफ वी एड इयर नाइन्टी सिक्स इज इयर सो इफ वी एड नाइन्टी सिक्स इयर सो इयर नाइन्टी सिक्स एटी टू सेवेंटी वन एंड दैट इज ऑफ हियर इन दैट साइड सेवेंटी वन इज देयर ओके एंड on that side you can see uh, that is uh, 82 so the we will we will put here uh, 96 plus 82 plus 71 is equal to 71 is missing in that side so now you see on the left hand side and the on the right hand side both the number is equal that is 96 82 and 72 in the left hand side Seventy one, ninety six, and eighty two in the right hand side. Okay. Now let's see the question number C. Uh, in this, if seventy five plus one and sixty nine plus one thousand one is equal to one thousand two forty five, then one thousand one plus seventy five plus one sixty nine. Okay. So, uh, what will be the answer? Our answer will be. In here, uh, if you add this one, this one, this one, it becomes one thousand two hundred forty-five. So again, if you add the same number, it will remain. The answer will be same. That is one thousand two hundred forty-five. Is it clear? Okay. Now let's see the next one. That is question number D. Uh, what we have to write here so that if we subtract zero from that number, it will be become seven eighty-nine. So. Uh, If we write here seven eighty nine here, and if we subtract zero from the seven eighty nine, it will remain the same. That is seven eighty nine. It means if we subtract zero from the any number, and if we add zero in the any number, there will be no change in that digit. Okay. Now let's see the next question. That is E. In the question E, this is four thousand five hundred minus. Two thousand five hundred is there. Okay, so what will be the answer if we subtract four thousand five hundred? Now let's see. This is our four thousand five hundred, and if we subtract two thousand five hundred in from the, this number, we will get zero 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 four minus two. It will becomes two. So, so our answer will be two. So we will write here two thousand. Is it clear? Okay. Now let's see. In the question F, nineteen thousand minus what is equal to nine thousand? Okay. So uh, if you, what we have to subtract from the nineteen thousand so that we can get nine. So let's see if you if you can't do orally, you can also do in this way. Nineteen thousand and um, you will get nine thousand. So what you have to subtract? So again, we we can get here that nine minus nine zero, and so if we subtract um, one th ten thousand, uh, then from in from if we subtract ten thousand from the nineteen thousand, we will get the nine thousand. Is it clear? Okay. Now let's see the last question. That is, uh, uh, if we add eight thousand five hundred plus. Uh, one thousand five hundred. It's very easy, but let why I'm going to solve this one so that you can understand better. Eight thousand plus five hundred, and if you add one thousand five hundred, what will be the result? So five five ten 
zero carry one eight nine and ten it will again ten thousand so what will be our answer our answer will be ten thousand so we will write here ten thousand is it clear it's very easy and this is um, uh, as i have already explained this one in your class also okay so that's all for today's thank you have a nice day take care